Okay, loose puppies. Right. I've done the drawing. And I've just put in enough detail to give me <clears throat> my hard edges. There's always no detail down here. I've just put in kind of the silhouette of where the stalks are. So let's let's get going. Right, I'm gonna start with something that's really really watery. Everything is gonna be a soft edge. And in the reference, see our lightest our lightest colour in the petals is kind of over here. So we're gonna aim for end up with that. That kind of light that's probably around, I don't know, a seven or an eight value in that red. So I'm going to be using two brushes, um, a brush to put the paint down and then a brush to put the, uh, to soften the edges. And you always have to keep a look out for hard edges that need softening. I'm just watching my brush because apparently I never wash my brushes properly. And I'm using these lovely um, silver black velvet, the ones are 12, the ones are 14. I'll probably use the 14 for softening and 12 put the paint on with. Okay, right, so let's mix up some paint. I'm going to use a mixture of, oh, uh, this is vermilion, so an orangey red, a cad red light is probably similar to this, or maybe a naphthol, and I think it's slightly too orangey, just a little bit of permanent rose in there. And I do need some swatch paper, Oops, and some piece of paper too, oh, that won't work. All right, just to see what this looks like yeah okay now that's slightly darker than we actually want it but it's okay because we're going to be softening edges so I'm just going to paint through loads of regions just roughly where these poppies are now the paint's gone now come in quickly here I've got a, I've got a, a damp brush it's not sopping with water although the blossoms will probably come along I'm just softening up those edges. It's just a clean brush softening those edges. And I'm just going to be using red for this, certainly at this point. And I'm working quite fast because I don't want my paint to dry. And if I get some runs or blossoms, I don't mind. Now, what I'm looking for at the moment, in here it's nice and wet. I don't want hard edges at the outside. They're easy to miss. Yeah, let's gonna bring some red down in here, just a little bit. And this is, you can go quite, quite nuts at this point because this will dry back. See, we've got some blossoms in there, but that doesn't matter, a little hard edge. I'm going around the edges of it. These these will show up. You could try leaving them, but I like to take them out. Okay, maybe drop a little more colour in just in places. Maybe it's still wet, so we should be okay. Alright, let's do this one. Go straight through the edges. Just do it region by region, otherwise. Otherwise your paint will dry and then you'll just be left with splodges, hard edge splodges. We're going to be left with splodges anyway, but they will be hard edge splodges and it will not be good. Okay, there we go. Da, da, da. And they won't look like poppies at all at the moment. Let's do a little bit in this one. This is my, oh there's two actually, it's this one here. This one here, I hate this one over here. It's a very unflower like shape, and it's hard to get it convincing. But we don't have to try too hard, we've got lots of others that have obvious flower shapes. And we could drop some splatter some color in here. Should we do that? Ooh. Maybe. Oh, oh, now I've done what I usually do. I'm using my softening brush for, uh, for the painting and vice versa. And it's going to look a bit messy. It's going to look, there's, there's lots of water on there. It will dry back and almost the messier it is the better the end result. I'm just going to put a little bit of colour joining those two 
these two regions together. And we're going to let this dry before we do the next layer. Right, let's stick some green. Oh, I was going to do some splattering. Let's, see. let's do some splattering. I'm going to do a bit of cad, cad orange in there. No. A little bit of cat orange, and now I'm going to mix up that green and do the same thing for the foliage. Again, something about the same value. I'm going to use some cat lemon. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of black will make it nice olive green. And then some blue. Oh, that's far too much blue. Let's come down here. I'm working quite quickly because I so look at that. Where's my swatch paper? Swatch paper. And actually, it's actually lower chroma, that a little bit more black. I don't want it, I'm not sure I want it to go quite as low chroma as it is in the reference. And again, we're going to put the colour on and go through the edges. And then soften those edges. Now, when I'm doing my softening brush, I'm cleaning it thoroughly in the water, and I'm done that a couple of times, maybe three times, on a piece of paper towel. You don't want so much water in this that it's going to start flowing out. It will do a little bit. Everything's soft at this point. I mean, we could put some, could put some hard edges in now, but let's. Right now in here, I know you can see there's detail. I'm just gonna go straight through. Now this is still wet. I'm just gonna put a few few dots there. Actually, I'm not gonna do that because I've left some hard edges. I'm having to talk fast and move fast here. We'll be able to slow down a bit in a minute. I'm cleaning my softening brush almost almost every time I lift it, at least every few seconds. Alright, let's just put a few more marks in here. Put a leaf there. I'm hoping that will, will still be wet. That's the wet, just to give something a little, little indication of foliage. And if I do get a hard edge back in with that softening brush, which I'm going to wet the paper up there and put in this seed head. You. Few marks here and there. Okay, All right. And while I'm here, and I'm cleaning my paint pigment brush. I should call it. They're all paint brushes. It's going to take a bit of that colour. Maybe mix up a little more. It's going to put a little bit of. Actually, I'm going to drop in just a little bit of colour there. Just to unify the red bits with the green bits. Just to tie them together. We've got some green up here, we just want a little bit of red down there. And I'm not going to bother with the shadows or anything on the on the cloth yet. Alright, all green I think. Ah, one thing I haven't done. Talking too much and not looking at my edges. If they do dry hard you just have to live with them. Let's put a bit more here. I want to make sure it goes through the edges and it bleeds out into the background. And then we'll come back in. We'll let it to dry. We'll let it dry first. And then put in some hard edges and it could it's, it should look kind of out of focus which it does definitely okay well okay i'm happy with that right now i'm going to um 
let the paper dry so I'm going to put the cameras on pause and then we'll be back in a few minutes see you in a bit okay we're back he's kind of dry dry-ish you can start this next bit and it's slightly wet you will get some unexpected bleeding which can be can give a nice effect so you don't want to do it when it's absolutely sopping uh, and it shouldn't really be sopping anyway if you've got water pooling on the surface you've probably got it too wet right now let's have a look where do we start we're going to start by putting in just some edges and just the edges that we think are important so where should we start let's start on this left hand one now there's some internal edges that are important these edges of these petals here show them the reference these ones these are important these all show that there's a, a cascade of petals there so we need to leave some gaps but let's think about what edges we can lose i'm going to, i'm going towards losing the lighter bits so this edge we probably don't need maybe a bit of this lower edge but where they go dark let's try that Let's try that and see if that works. So let's just put in the dark portions and not paint the lighter portions. So let's mix up some of this. It's going to be slightly thicker and darker paint now. And we're still going to need a softening brush because we're going to just put in one hard edge and soften the other side. Now that's a bit too thick. Okay now let's put in now there's this little light edge there which doesn't have, quite have enough color on it let's put in this edge just in here just and it's, i'm using the point of the brush this is a lot more measured than what we were doing before although i think it's trickier right let's go through the middle now we may put some more color on that middle and then let's soften that edge out. All right, damp brush, dabbed on a paper towel, just stroking that over the paper, just to, just to have that gradation. I'm leaving this hard, and you can still go through the edges if you want. You've got to be careful which bits are wet and which bits are dry. Now another little edge, I'm just looking at it, I'm thinking, just picking out what I think the important edge is in. Just this piece there, just that little piece there. It's darker, slightly darker than the rest of it. Bit of colour, and just that little bit that pokes out as well, and put that in. And curves around. Again, washing my brush, dabbing on the paper towel. And I'm kind of wiggling it, pulling it back, kind of coaxing it out, just letting that bit show. Now that might be too much. We can always go in and soften a bit more. I'm just going to bleed that out a bit. Just soften a little bit of that edge. Just thought it was slightly too much. And we're a lot more measured. There's the famous phrase, loose is how it looks and not how it's done. We can be kind of devil may care in the first bits because it gets very light. You can see this is drawing back really light. Uh, and this little bit that brings out this sliver of petal. Now this has got, this is a shape with two hard edges on it. I haven't drawn this bit, so I'm going to have to draw it with the brush. Just to show that front petal. Again, softening brush gets washed, dabbed on the paper towel. Just soften that bit. I'm not going right back into the colour. I'm kind of tickling the edge of it with my brush, waggling it back and forth and coaxing the colour out. Just thinking, this is a really dry brush. Now 
How's that? And I think this is still wet. So I'm going to try dropping in some dark in there. And I've got some Michael Harding neutral tint here, which seems to work well for this. But it's ever so slightly purpley. The lovely, lovely paint, actually. It's my first, first Michael Harding one. No, it's not quite. It's not wet. We're going to have to wait a bit there. All right. Okay. I was hoping that was still wet, and we could go in, and it would bleed. This is a very dry brush. I just want to soften that edge. We can come back, wet the paper, and finish that. Okay. Now, what else do we have? We've got another little corner of dark here. Going to make that bottom bit of petal hard. It's a constant set of decisions as to what is hard and what is soft. Uh, yes. And you may need to modify things as you go along. You may make a decision that's like, oh, no, actually, I wanted that to be soft. Maybe just bring a little bit. It's a hard edge there, but I don't necessarily want it all to be hard edged. So that, that doesn't look too bad, actually, does it? And there's something that needs doing here, but I'm going to leave that because this is going to be wet. And I've got so many brushes in my hands, I can't tell what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to bring a bit of colour up here. There's another little dark bit there. And then it goes kind of indistinct up there. So a little bit of colour, then I'm going to soften. And just squinting at it. I want to leave a little bit of those hard edges, but I don't want them to be too... That's quite hard. I'm going to leave that bit there. You just pull some colour through there. I always find it quite amazing that you, you have a straight line at the edge of this petal, but if you paint it completely straight uh, and unbroken, it doesn't read well, so you have to break it up. Right, let's move on to the next one. Now this one here and this one, this one behind is a bit tricky because there's all sorts of stuff going on in there. Now where are our hard edges going to be? I think this in here is going to be soft. There's this inner petal here. There's this front petal that's definitely going to be hard. This is tricky, isn't it? Let's start down here. Make this one hard. I'm going to soften in between those two bits of colour. This may not be dark enough. It is kind of in shadow in there. Maybe bleed that out a bit. Softening there as it lightens up towards the edge. And I'm going to just lose that little strip. I see a big straight bit. And lose that a little bit. If you define the beginning and the end of it, you're usually good. Now this edge here, just behind, defines the front pet the petal in front of it. Comes down here. I'm kind of making things up at the moment. I think we'll have enough detail in there to show that there's a form. But I don't want too much in there. I'll make it look rigid. And my softening brush, I'm just basically painting with water here. Just losing those edges. Oh, that should have been a hard edge, that one. Using the hard edges, and I'm going to put some more dark in here because it's, it's in shadow in here. 
and then lose it out towards the edge. You can change your mind on things. It's not. You don't have to get it perfect the first time round. All right, damp brush. And when I'm doing this, my brush is damp, but there's really very little water on it. Right, I think that should be wet enough. I can drop some dark in. When you put the darks in on these flowers, it really defines them. And I like to get references where... Oh, hopefully, this, let's see what this does. I want this... I'm, not, I'm going to keep away from this hard edge petal there. I'm just going to put some around the outside. It really does define the form of that flower. All right, I have three brushes on the go, which is just about as many as I can cope with. It's a little more. I'm squinting at it constantly as well. Just a little more. Just so it kind of looks like a poppy. Now these have dried pretty hard edge. We can go back in and soften those. That looks nice actually, doesn't it? I kind of like it. kind of like it. It's always a good sign. <clears throat> the risk is I get overconfident and lose focus. And then it all goes horribly wrong. Hopefully it won't go horribly wrong. Right, let's have a look at this one. We're going to lose this little light petal here. We're going to lose that edge. I think this can be hard. And in this subject, I'm keeping the kind of the shadow petals hard. And I'm losing the light petals. It's not always the case. Sometimes you want to lose things in the shadows and keep the rest of it hard. Now this front petal I am keeping hard because that's going to help define the, the form of it. Okay. Then another hard edge here, just where this petal, let me bring this down, just where this petal overlaps that one, I've got to keep that hard line. But this out here, I think that can be soft. And I should say at this point, I don't actually know if this is going to work. I'm going to try something. What does it look like? If it doesn't work, change it. And of course I can't see my drawing now. Well, we were going to lose this edge anyway, so let's, let's lose it. It's a little bit more dark in here. And if we don't have enough hard edges, we can always come back and put more in. Taking them out is tricky, but we can put more in. I'm going to soften this. Just be careful. I'm not going to go into that bottom petal. left a bit of a hard line there, but there's more. I'm just going to put a bit of colour underneath because this petal is curving around. I might just lose a little bit of edge there. How's that looking? I'm kind of, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Quietly confident at this point. But as I said before, things could go horribly wrong. might need a few more edges on that one. Right, let's just drop in a bit of dark. I'm hoping I've left that top edge. I know there is some light and shade in these. Well, that's going to bleed, isn't it? In these middles, but I'm kind of ignoring that. I'm leaving some gaps so it looks, it looks slightly yeah. Slightly varied in value. All right, paper towel. All right, I'll come back and fix that later. Okay, I'm actually going to go back. I think that should be dry by now. Yes. Let's just do something with these these hard edges. Now I could soften them with a brush, but what I think I'm going to do, they're slightly, slightly too light than they should be. So I'm going to take some of my existing colour, a little more water, and just 
paint through some of them. Not too much water. And I'm not going along them. I'm just choosing small areas. Just to reduce the effect of those hard lines. Yeah, I think that's okay. Want well, something down here? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what that was. I think that's slightly less. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That looks a bit better. That was really standing out to me. I wanted just to bring it in line with everything else. Okay. All right. Well. Let's move on. Let's move on to this one here. I'm leaving this one till last because I hate it. And I should say now that we did this in class, we did it very tightly. Actually, maybe I could fish out. Next time I put it, put it on pause to dry, I'll fish out the other one. Right, so we have this light petal again around here. Now, which bit? We're going to lose this bit of petal. Is that light? I think we're going to lose this up here too. Maybe the top piece of that, yeah, let's stick it okay, right. I mean, that's the plan, whether we stick to it, I don't know. Let's do the middle first. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put this on pause and come back. Apologies for that, I was expecting it to be free. Probably shouldn't have started a video whilst I was expecting a delivery, but anyway. No harm done. Right, let's get back to this poppy. And my paint's drying a little bit. Don't have it too, you want it to be intense, but you don't want it to be too thick. Alright, let's come around here. I think there's a little bit of hard edge up there. Gonna leave that bit. And there's no there's no real rules to any of this. Let's just do something. Soften your edges and see if it looks okay. I don't know if that's very helpful. And I think you'll be surprised how little you need to do to make something read well. Now whilst we're Put that I'm going to put some dark in there. Not too watery. I've noticed that these have lost some of their darks. There's too much water in it. This neutral tint has dried up a bit. Okay. Uh, Alright, that will do for that. I'll come back and do something more with that later. Right. Okay, and there's this little little piece here. Now I said we're going to lose that edge, but I think it just needs a little bit of dark. Just to bring out that curved petal. Just a little bit. I'm washing my softening brush. Got to do a weird arm manoeuvre. My head probably gets in the way at this point. I apologize. Just to show that petal. Okay. Then this is going to be soft. Another little. It's a little sliver left there. The bottom of this one is hard. Come in with a softening brush. And soften that petal out. I'm actually dragging a bit of colour out there. Could have done with a bit more colour in there. And you notice when I'm softening an edge, let's let's pretend I'm softening this edge here. My 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 brush is perpendicular to the edge, and I kind of pull it along, waggle it left and right, and then slowly pull back. And what I'm actually doing is wetting the paper. I'm not really painting with the paint at all. 
I'm just wetting the paper and coaxing that pigment out. Okay. All right. How's that one looking? I'm, I'm leaning back and I'm squinting and I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm okay. Looking for hard edges that need to go in this. This one here just pokes down the side of that petal. These little details, you need to kind of experiment with yourself. Um, which hard edges matter? Because and then you experiment and you, it, you'll do something. You'll lean back and go, oh yeah, that works. And then you'll remember it for the next time. And I'm pretty sure your your decisions will be slightly different to my decisions. Right, now there's this piece under here. Oh no! <laughs> yes, well, it helps if I use the right brush, doesn't it? <laughs> They're almost the same size. I wasn't even looking at the palette, I was looking at the palette. I would have noticed that, but I didn't. Oh well, it's down there now. Oops, oops. I'm going to make this bit hard down here. And then I'm leaning back and thinking, yeah, not sure, not sure, not sure. Don't like that triangle now. So let's lose some of it. A bit more colour in those edges. Yeah, okay. We need to we need to just modify that one a bit, I think, but not right now. Now my nemesis flower. Right, a bit more pigment, and I'm not varying the the the, uh, the mixture too much, or at all, to be honest. There's this little bit here, let's make this hard. It kind of curves back, I didn't draw that bit in. Okay. And then other hard edges on this, there's this inside piece here. See if we can make this read okay. I think pretty much all of this is going to be hard. <laughs> Just looking back at my drawing. Let's draw this bit in while I'm here. Now I may come in at this point and smoosh a lot of this together. I don't know how it's going to read. There's this petal here. How's that reading? Oh, I don't know. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's colour that bit in a bit. Hmm. So lose a little bit of that in there. Soften that bottom edge. I know that looks like a very hard edge, and it is. I'm going to try just losing it. Some of these crinkles in. This is just water on the brush. All right, and then I've just seen this is actually slightly, slightly colour in there. I might lose that edge too much. With some of these pieces, we're going to have to come in and just darken up a little. Mm, put a bit of colour on that. This may not be the definitive. Oh no, that was a hard edge. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Let's put some dark in. You can't see the middle, but there's the back piece, which is dark. Bleed in there. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to soften bits of this as it goes up into the flower. Fingers are also good. Okay. Okay, I think I'm fairly happy with that. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry and then we'll do some foliage. And the foliage, I think, will need even less attention than the flowers do. We haven't finished the flowers yet. Um, but they're looking they're looking how I want them to look so far. We need to darken up some of the centres. Maybe define this back edge probably needs a little bit of definition. Maybe not. I'll stand back and have a look at it anyway. I'm going to put it on pause and then I'll see you um, in a few minutes. Back again. Right, I've just taken a couple of minutes to stand back and look at it and I'm, I'm still quietly confident. Still quietly confident, but who knows. Right, leaves. Now, the main, the main star of the show is the flowers here. So the leaves, you know, no, nobody's really going to be looking at the leaves. So we could be quite fast and loose with these things. Right, again, I've got my brush, I'm going to have my paint on, brush, I'm going to do my softening with. So let's go in, and it's the same process, we're just going to look, look at our leaves and see where the hard edges are, and lose the edges in the light. So this side of this leaf probably won't get defined, but the underside where it goes into shadow, that will get defined. And you just happen to be doing leaves now, and not petals. Right. A bit of yellow, and a little bit of black, which will turn it an olive green. I know some people hate using black, but we're just using it as a slight modifier. All right, a bit more black, and a little bit more blue. And these shadow greens are slightly more blue. All right, a bit more blue. Yes, okay, I think I don't want it to be too chromatic either. I'm putting in black to neutralise it a little bit. Right, where's my swatch paper, which I seem to have lost? And, well, I'm going to have to break out a fresh bit of swatch paper. Oh no, here it is. Here we go. Yeah, about that, about that, that should do us. Right, I'm going to start with this leaf down here, I think. Just a little bit of colour. Just on that underside. Find a couple of those spiky bits. A little bit on this. I'll do this one while I'm here. I don't think it will dry. And my softening brush, now I'm holding two brushes and a piece of swatch paper. Bring that out. And you can, I'm being a bit more free with going outside the edges here. Putting too much detail into foliage often doesn't work. A bit more of this colour out. Put the swatch paper down, for God's sake. Right. Okay. Right, I'm squinting at this. This is a hole. I've got to remember where my holes are. Put a bit of colour in here. Maybe just a little bit of colour, the tips of those points, just a little bit. And this is a case of playing with it until it's reading well. It's not perfect rendition. How's that looking? Oh, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I'm not sure about that at all. Right. I think 
I actually need a bit more colour. I'm really squinting at the reference now. So a little bit of leaf there, wasn't there? Put that in. It's a hole there, it's a hole there. I know there's loads of stalks in here. Oh, they stalk. These silver black velvet brushes are great for stalks. And I think that might be looking a bit too, a bit too bit. I'm going to pull through and remove some detail there. Might even do a Charles Reed splatter. Just keep me away from the top of that vase. How's that? Uh, I'm not liking that at all. You see, I was overconfident. Overconfident. Now oh, I think it's all looking too dark. Put that through. I'm pulling colour off to remove detail. This is a clean brush. Right, let's do a bit over here, see if that balances it out a bit. I'm going to do a little bit of colour just down into the vase. Leave some holes in there. Soften those edges. Yeah, you can tell I'm having problems because I'm finding it hard to talk. It's typical, isn't it? I thought this bit would be the easy bit, but no, no, it's not easy. That's actually got a nice bit of leaf that curls over there. I'm going to put that in. And where I'm, I'm keeping my point towards the edge of the shape as well. Right, softening brush. There's a hole in there I don't want. Let's lose a bit of that. Uh, oh yeah, that's the chocolate. Oh, where was the chocolate? Oh, I've repositioned it. It's not good. Put some stalks in. A little piece of dark under here. These little dark green pieces underneath the flowers. really show that it's what the orientation of the flower is and that it is a flower. Right. More blue. Mm. Right now. Where are we? There's a little bit of leaf up here, isn't it? Because I want this hole to be there. I'm making this up and go through that. And once the colour's down, soften some edges. And I'm trying not to put any detail in here, just very small value changes. I think they could have been slightly smaller, but anyway. A little leaf here, a stalk. Let's put in this seed here. I'm just going to put the shadows in that. 
and soften it a bit. Just behind that petal a little bit. And I'm just breaking up that line. Got a little leaf there. Those stalks are looking too heavy. Let's take bits of them out. I messed that one up a bit, never mind. Let's see some more up here. I'm really not putting very much detail in these. But I am going back in and softening. I don't have too many hard edges. Okay, I'll do a couple more stalks. The back of that one. Okay. How's that looking? It's looking a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, not too bad. Still maybe slightly too dark in there, but it's done now, so I have to deal with it. Let's put a bit more colour down here. Now it fades out a bit towards the bottom, so most of the dark is going to be in the middle. Gonna add a bit of water to that just to fade that out a little bit. Just leave a gap on the water line, a couple of holes. Not really looking at the reference to that here either. Just want it to look like there's some stalk and stuff down here. Where does that go? Tempted to put another one in here. Okay, well, right, I think that's enough on the leaf for now. I'm not happy with it, but experience has told me that if I keep fiddling with it, I won't make it better. And the best thing to do is to move on to something else <clears throat> and then come back to it once you've done something else. So let's move back to the flowers. I just want to intensify the colour and the darks in some areas right, but before I do that I'm just going to show you the previous version it was a very tight version and I think it's useful to do a tight version if you're not used to doing this so this is what we did we did this in craft so this is the tight version I actually rather like it um, I'm not sure anybody else did but I like it and Yes, all the a lot of the edges are hard. There's no smooshing out into the background, but I do like these really intense reds, and I like the shapes of the petals. Um, and then there's the looser version. Same subject. Maybe I can put it next to it. There you go. I think they both have charm, you know. They both have charm. Okay. Right. What do we do now? So I think some of the edges of these petals just a little, they need a little more intensity. Just a little bit more colour. And I also want to beef up the, the dark centres a little bit. So let's just clean the palette. 
I don't want to I don't want to in, add too much intensity to end up with the tight edged version the hard edged version that's going to be quite subtle and again you're going to need both brushes your, your paint brush and your softening brush all right all right now this isn't as intense a mix and it's not as dark a mix i'm going to put some more water in it because i don't want to overwhelm what's there i just want to strengthen up some of the darks i think in here i think it's slightly too light so i'm just going to put a slight wash over that and then come back with my softening brush that top edge needs to be soft so i'm keeping this lost edge there but i'm just intensifying the color in certain areas and where's my dark brush now oh, that's wet i'm going to put some more neutral tint in there yeah. i've been using this in a while okay it might still be a bit too wet. Just dotting the colour on a little bit around the edge there, leaving a gap. Just a little bit, just a couple of dots around that top edge to show it goes around the back. There we go. There we go. Keeping that edge crisp next to the petal. Okay. Now down here, what does it need here? I think this bit is slightly, slightly ill-defined. There is a little petal that comes around, so let's put some colour there. Just to show that petal. Wow, well that looked weird. I think that looks weird. Okay, that looks weird, so I'm gonna lose that bit. Leave that bit. I'm actually going to I've got three brushes on the go again. Could have been a little curve up there. And I think I'm going to leave that one. Still up here, there could be a little more detail, but I'm going to leave that one. Now, here, a little more intensity in here. A little more intensity up there. It's slightly darker just here. And my brush marks are more, more calligraphic at this point because we've got our main colours down. I'm just emphasising a few things. And again, a bit of dark in there. Just hmm. beefing that one up a bit. Is that too intense? Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna leave that one back there. I don't want to, I just want to add emphasis on a few few things. Right, let's go to this one. Put a little more colour up here. And just a little bit more in here. Now I said we wanted to lose that edge, but I think we've lost half the petal as well. Don't want to lose all the petal. I just want to make sure that top edge is lost. Okay. 
Mm. And you can put some hard edges back if you want to. Again, I think it's just to put a little bit of colour there. Just to define a little bit of that top purple. Um, this is kind of experimenting as I go. dark and I can leave that middle now which is slightly lighter okay this piece here I think does need a bit of something just a slight lighter wash a little bit of colour some small accents just to break up that line yeah. mm -hmm. right, these petals have got like, lots of little stripes on them I'm not doing those just putting a bit of extra colour I don't think that centre really needs anything, does it? You get a little bit of intensity over here. Yeah, I think I'm good with that one. I think we're almost done, actually. And this one here. A little bit more water. So I want to glaze over this bit. Just so the value difference isn't quite as much. Uh, now I want to go a little bit darker in here. And if you've done the first bit okay, I think you'll find the second pass is a lot easier. Because it's a lot of slight, slight changes. I'm just going to dab a bit of dark. No, oh, that be too wet. It's a little bit of dark in here. You just see a little bit of intensity poking out. Okay. Bring this to the rescue. How's that? Okay, right, I'm going to let that go because I'm not sure that worked. Okay, right. Let's do a bit of vase and shadow. And the vase, again, it's the same thing. It's a hard edge and then a soft other edge. So around the edges of the vase, it's kind of a hard grey. I'm not going to put it everywhere, I don't think. But on as it curves around the glass, it's it's soft. So let's mix up a grey, which let's use cobalt. Cobalt and a bit of burnt sienna, slightly blue, but not too dark. Just going to put a few, a few dabs really, just around the edge with my softening brush. Just on the inside, so it fades out. I don't think I really want to do very much on the bars. Oh no! Oh no, it's trouble when you're using fingers. Paint gets on the fingers. Actually, I think maybe a little bit, just it's going to bleed out, never mind. Uh, on, this, on this side it's slightly, I know the waterline it's slightly darker. Oh. So 
all going horribly wrong. All going horribly wrong. I think we can rescue it. A little bit of dark just at the waterline. And if this bleeds terribly, I'm not going to be too worried about it. A little bit of just at the bottom of the bottom of the bars. Always softening. Putting a little bit of colour where you see the darkest bit and then fading it out. Put some just a little bit in there. I can just see it's slightly grey in there. Not quite sure what to do about this side. Maybe just a little little sliver. I've got graphite there which is annoying but Right, and now once this is done, I'm going to do the bit I hate, which is this shadow. I think I'm going to do it wet and wet. So I'm going to wet the paper. I hope my water isn't too grubby. Not too bad, I think it's got some colour on it. I'm going to put it away over here since it's got some colour on it. I'm going to use my shadow colour. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. Some darts into that foliage. Yeah, I think it's coming out with. Now I know those shadows have got all sorts of details in them. Check them. Not too wet. I don't want to wait too long. I'm being impatient. Make it an interesting shape. It's got another little shadow coming out this side. Should we put that in? Don't like that. Okay. I think that's okay. I'm not going to do anything about the front or that shadow down the side. Hmm. And then as that's drying, it's something that's a little darker. Actually, I'm going, to just, I'm going to use this just out of a couple of darts, just in the heart of this foliage. Not too many. They're kind of little triangle shapes. Just to give a little bit more value, variation. I'm not sure about that. I think I should probably leave that. Okay, I'm just a little bit of dark around the bottom. I hope this isn't going to be too. too dark and this is a very very dry brush as my paper's wet now just tickling the edge of that dark so it bleeds out a bit it'll make it slightly slightly softer too okay okay i think i'm done i think i'm done of course i see several other things i want to do when i say that Okay, no, I think I'm done. I think he's done. Okay, I'll just put it on Zoom so you can see the full thing. Yeah, not too bad. There's things I would change, but I think at this point I should quit.
while I'm ahead. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope to do some more loose painting in the future. And I, I will, I hope I see you again. Please leave me some comments or email me. I'm always happy to hear from people. Okay, bye-bye.